New details released this afternoon about the celebration in Green Bay for the NFL's first regular season game, which will be at Lambeau Field in two and a half weeks. Good evening, everyone. However, still no word on who's going to be performing at a free concert leading up to kickoff. But we do know there is going to be a major road closure coming up. Fox 11's Ben Kromholtz joins us now live from the News and Content Center with more on that part of the story. Ben, what have you found out? Well, the chief of Ashwaubenon on public safety told me this afternoon the NFL's free kickoff concert will be first come, first serve, will be an hour long, and will close a portion of Oneida Street for a week. Now, those details were shared with stadium area business, businesses this afternoon, and some of those business owners tell me it all adds up to appear to be quite the party. Oh, I think it's going to be the best we've ever done. I really do. I think it's going to beat the Super Bowl and everything else. About two and a half weeks out from the Packers home opener, stadium area businesses and safety officials are preparing for a party predicted to be the biggest Green Bay has ever seen. The main event to the party is an hour-long free concert. Ashwaubenon public safety officials say the stage will be set up at the edge of the Lambeau Field parking lot facing Oneida Street. Set up for the stage will start on September 2nd, closing Oneida Street from Lombardi Avenue to Potts Avenue. Part of Armed Forces Drive will also be closed. The stage is expected to be as large as the one set up for Kenny Chesney's Lambeau Field concert earlier this year. We have shut down Oneida Street before for other special events like the, the Logging Congress, so it has been done before. Um, so, but this one here will be just for a longer duration. On the day of the event, starting at 6 a.m., Armed Forces Drive will be completely closed. It will form a T-shape with Oneida Street, where barricades will be lined up for the concert crowd. The standing areas will be open at 3.30 p.m., with the concert beginning two hours later at 5.30. The concert is expected to end at 6.30, with the Packers kicking off the 2011 season at 7.30. Well, the NFL has done this in other cities and um, just work with them and seeing what, what is going to be the best safety plan to put together for this event. People uh, adapt the closed roads or parking spots. <laughs> Let's party, yeah. Now, while the NFL still isn't saying who will be performing at the free concert, there have been unconfirmed reports that Kid Rock will be one of the acts. Stadium View bar owner Jerry Watson tells me reliable sources with the situation tell him Kid Rock will be one of those acts. Now, other details that we learned today about the event include an NFL sponsor activation village in front of the Rush Center on the day before the concert. That's Wednesday. There will also be a three-day NFL alumni youth camp inside the Rush Center that will not be open to the public. Children from around the area are expected to be invited to that event. The NFL says an official announcement will come later this week. Tom? 